Welcome to this uh, Windows and Computer channel. And one question I got asked um, a few times, and that was a interesting post this morning. Somebody sent me an article that was talking about browser um, privacy and how which browsers are you know the best for privacy and so on. And they mentioned they say, well, you know that uh, website kind of says that Edge is the worst in privacy of all the browsers. And, uh, of course, the uh, message wanted to have my own take on this and my own opinion on it uh, with the knowledge I have of all of this. So here's the thing. Um, I read the article, and I had actually heard from somebody talking about that article uh, about a week, week and a half ago. And that article is actually a load of crap, honestly, because when I look at what they say and, and, you know, just to put it at the max of why it's a load of crap, they say that Google Chrome is the best browser for, for privacy. Uh, it's kind of the other way around. Okay. Google Chrome is probably the worst in your privacy. And so we're going to talk a little bit about why. Um, we're, we're just going to concentrate here on why Edge is a better choice than Chrome if you do want privacy. First of all, look at the companies behind the browsers, okay? Um, of course, I get tons of people all the time saying, well, you know, you don't know Microsoft is selling our data. It's like, nope, Microsoft is not. And if you think that, well, you don't know what you're talking about because Microsoft does need data and, of, of course, everybody tells me, well, you know, look at the data they're collecting. Yeah, and the only reason they're collecting it is to make sure that that browser or the Windows 10 operating system works better. They aren't a business that is like Google. Google is an ad company. Okay, stop thinking that search engine is very cute and nice and it finds everything you want. The core business of Google is to sell ads. This is why all of this exists, including YouTube. It's an ad machine. It is the biggest ad machine in the world. They want more of your information so they can sell ads with it. So Microsoft does not sell ads. It's not their business. Their business is selling Windows and selling software. So that data is not useful because they have nothing to do with it, really. They're not selling it, they're not using it. They're just taking that data to um, improve the products. So, you know, whatever you think, uh, it's like that. And that's the reality of how it is. So, of course, Google Chrome is the worst browser for your privacy because it's based on the fact that the company behind it, Google, is a ad company. So, you know, that article is, I don't know, somebody paid someone, someone to, to talk about that like in that, in a way that is totally biased. And, uh, you know, this is always the interesting part of this. And, and a lot of people, you know, I get tons of people saying, well, you know, you're a fanboy of Microsoft and blah, blah, blah. I'm not. If Microsoft does a crappy job or if Microsoft tomorrow morning, we would learn that they steal our data and sell it and, and use it in bad ways, I'd be the first to make a video to say, hey, you know what, here's what I learned and here's what's happening. I have absolutely no, no reason to talk about uh, Microsoft in a good way, except just talking about the facts of what the companies are and what they do. And you got to, at some point also, you know, kind of believe some of what they say. So, you know, the other thing that makes Edge a much better choice than Chrome, and here I'm not telling you to change to Microsoft Edge, Chromium. I'm just stating, again, the facts. They've removed every Google thing that could be Google in the Edge Chromium. It's the engine of Chromium with Google removed from most part of the browser. So, you know, I've got a few people saying, well, you know, it's Edge Chromium, so it's still, you know, loads of Google spying. It's not. They removed pretty much everything that is Google. 
And actually, one of the first complaints I get all the time is, well, you know, my Google services don't work well in Edge Chromium. Of course, it's not based to do that. If you want to use Google services to the max, you have to use Google Chrome. That's the browser made for that. So that's the reason why these services are broken in Edge, because there is a removal of what Google is all about. And of course, they replace it with Bing and replace it with Microsoft stuff. But one of the things that you might notice is that if you go into your, and, and let's pull up here the uh, Edge stable version. If you pull up the Edge browser and you look at its settings, one of the first things that you'll notice is that in the settings, one thing that you don't see in Google Chrome a lot is that there's tracking prevention and there's different types of tracking prevention. You can even can see what has been blocked. They actually are working and having you less tracked on the web. It's actually a better browser for privacy. So, you know, there's a lot of these things you got to understand when you talk about different browsers. You don't have that in Chrome. Chrome is not and does not want to stop tracking because that's how they can have as much information to have the, uh, you know, sell you ads. And that's that's pretty much it. So, you know, and there are other browsers out there that are actually working at uh, having uh, your privacy the number one thing. You know, there's uh, uh, Opera is one, um, you know, um, Brave is another one. And some people use these browsers and it's fine. But, you know, uh, you got to understand if you are talking strictly Edge versus Chrome, Edge is a lot more privacy concerned and privacy oriented than Chrome. Chrome is not. Chrome is, in reality, a privacy nightmare. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.